Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to do a little bit of pencil running, something we're doing a lot of in the classroom at the minute, so I thought it would be useful if I do a quick demonstration for you. So I've got three really sharp pencils here, I've got an orange, a yellow and a purple. Uh, the colour choice is yours obviously, depending on what you're doing, but I'm just going to show you the technique and try and talk you through. It's very difficult, I can't actually, it's a difficult thing to teach, but it's basically about practice. So I'm going to try and get from uh, one side of the circle to the next, uh, gradually, changing the pressure. Um, and that should make the colour from the pencil a little bit lighter. So just watch what I'm doing. I'll try and talk as I'm doing it. So I'm starting off, I find it easier to start off with a heavier pressure. Uh, and then I'm trying to tell my brain as I'm, as I'm going across this, the uh, circle here. Um, I'm telling my brain to sort of release the pressure gradually, which I'm doing now. So I'm sort of talking. My inner voice is telling me to release the pressure a little bit. I'm just going to go, as I say, I'm quite heavy with the purple. And I'm going in different directions. And I start to overlap. So I'm going in different directions, and that starts to, um, you can see as I'm moving across, I'm getting lighter and lighter. And obviously a pencil gets quite blunt to do, and I won't have time to sharpen them because I want this to be a quick video. But I probably at this point, um, I'll be sharpening my pencil again. So keep your pencil nice and sharp, it's much easier. And you'll find I never um, use finger my finger to smudge the colours or the graphite pencil, depending on what you're using. You can see that's starting to blend now a little bit. I'm just going to work in this edge a wee bit. So it's basically turning a 2D circle into a 3D sphere just with coloured pencils and um, graduated shades of colour. And again, I'm, I'm very, very light pressure now on this. And it's, again, it's the only thing, the only way you can learn this is by practising. I'm going in with a little bit of orange. So I'm just sort of working back into, your, into the purple with a little bit of orange here. So I can blend that in. You get a nice, um, a lovely colour mix with these two colours. that and again I'm going in all different directions just I'm nice and soft in the light areas yeah I'm just going nice soft pressure and then the last colour I'm going to use is a little bit of yellow and I'll use yellow quite a lot because it just warms everything up a little bit it always brightens all your colours and you don't have to go in too heavy with the yellow and um, I think the, the purple was the one I used heaviest and I'll put a little bit of orange into it and I'm just going to come back in with a little bit of yellow Again, just nice and light. I don't know if you can see, pick that up on there, but just to warm this up a little bit. And I'll put this in my classroom as well, so uh, those of you that I teach, you can you'll be able to see it in the classroom close up if you want to. I'm just bring a little bit of yellow into the white there as well, just to sort of really brighten that. It makes the white really pop off the off the paper. So hopefully that should start looking a little bit more 3D now, which I think it does. Now obviously I'm, I'm old and I've had lots of practice at this, but it really it's about practice. So if we're doing a lot of this in the classroom, it's probably up to you. Um, just put a little bit of shadow in there as well. Obviously the shadow the light's coming from here, so the shadow's going to be down here on this side. Mix a little bit of colour in with it. I will help you with this in where I can, but as I say, there's no substitute for practice, 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 and it'll get better and better you'll find it'll be easier okay so i would like you to practice it if you can and then if as i say if i do teach you um i'll be able to see that in the classroom have a go